Okay, so what you want to do is stand on the insole, make a mark where your big toe is, right in between the big toe and the second toe, mm -hmm. and come down just below the base of the foot or just below where you're hurting, or where she's hurting. Mm -hmm. Then you'll take and draw a line and cut that part out of the insole. Okay. Then <clears throat> you'll flip the insole over and you'll you'll put uh, a pad along the line of where you just cut out. You'll leave that cut out, put this along the line and underneath, back behind where the pain is. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll need to come back about just start, starting into the arch. That's as long as it needs to be. Just starting into the arch. Yeah. So this piece will actually be kind of an L-shaped piece. Mm -hmm. Okay? okay. And then, what that'll do then is it'll raise the foot over here. Mm -hmm. So the pressure comes here, she walks through, and this big toe where she has the sesamoiditis will not touch the floor and not get irritated, and then it'll gradually get better. Right. So she could use this while she is... Um, healing yeah. as well as probably After. long term, long term it, yeah. for the rest of her time to prevent yeah. a recurrence. Yeah. To prevent a recurrence, yep. Okay. So we had thought of this before with insoles, but just cutting out the piece, but not adding any padding. Yeah, adding and the padding would be better because that would guarantee that that big toe is not going to get much pressure. Yeah. And that's what's the problem. My guess is. Plus, these things squish so much, you're not holding it up very much anyway. Yeah. yeah. My guess is that her foot, her big toe, the bone along with her big toe is dropped structurally. So it hits more pressure-wise than it should. Because if I remember right, she's kind of flat-footed. Hmm. She may be. And that will even cause more of a pressure on that. System. Yeah. So uh, this will look So hard. this is quarter-inch felt you're looking yeah. at here? Now I'm going to give you one other thing that you may want to try. Okay. And she'll have to have a pair of these. This is cork posting. What's it called? Cork, cork posting. Cork. Hmm. Okay. So see how it's wedged? Yep. The fat side goes on the arch side of the foot. Okay. So she'd stand on it, trace her foot out. The arch side, okay. The yeah. arch side. Mm -hmm. So so this would be the left foot, this would be the right foot. There's kind of two sides. There's a rougher side and a smoother side. Mm -hmm. Smoother side up. She she do her whole foot on this. Mm -hmm. Then she just stick these in her shoe. And what that does is it throws her it actually puts a little more pressure apparently on that sesamoid side, but it throws the weight outside so she's not She's really walking more on the, on the outside, outside of her foot. Yeah. Because if she pronates, this is what would work to help that. So, so you can take these two options, see which one works the best. Wow. Okay, so it's going to be really one or the other, you think. Yeah. Maybe the cutout with the felt during the healing time and possibly just the, uh, the cork um, afterwards for maintenance to yeah. prevent a recurrence. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Very interesting. Never seen anything like this before. Uh, I guess a lot of people with when, flat feet. When, when I was in my private practice and um, I had people I'd make orthotics for or inserts for, mm -hmm. I'd start them out in these and I'd make their orthotic and they'd come back and say, couldn't you make this orthotic so it feels like these? Because <laughs> these seem to feel better. Yeah. And what it does, it just holds your foot neutral so that you're not over pronating or over supinating to cause uh -huh. undue stress on a joint. So if she's over pronating, see when she goes to toe off, see she's putting all that pressure on that yeah. sesamoid bone. Yeah. Okay. So really you're just, uh, in the cork idea, you're just cutting out an, a new insole. It's just yeah, an angled insole. insole. Yeah, it's an angled insole. Hmm. Yeah. But what will happen is this cork will form to her foot uh -huh. because it kind of will end in because it's cork. It's not steel or plastic, and it works really quite well. And these will last, they'll last for a whole mission. Is this something that can easily be found at no. 
Oh. <laughs> so this is something we would have to send to her. Yeah, probably. For her to be able to find, even in well, Panama City. Which yeah, is I have to get this offline, and I... Um, yeah. I don't know if Panama City would have it. It's, it's, if you have to order it online, uh, then it's not going to be in any store in Panama City, I expect. No. No. Okay. Well, 